If you've ever tried to cut a shape like this out on a router table, you'll know that what you get out isn't what you put in. This is because your router is using a bit with a non-zero diameter. If this circle represents your bit, as you try and make this inner cut, you wind up with a fillet. Same thing here, same thing here, same thing here. On your outer cuts, sure enough, you're going to wind up with fillets in these corners. The part that, yield, that is yielded looks like this. Look at those terrible fillets. You don't want that. So, how do you fix this? Well, you have to change the path. This technique is known as dog boning, and you have basically two options. I'll show you both. With this path, the router bit can go all the way up to here, back out, and then resume. This is nice because if you had a square piece that needed to fit into this square hole, it would be able to get in there. Your option 1.5 is that at a right angle. Option number two, which I prefer, is to do it at a 45 degree angle. Draw a circle, two points, 45 degree angle, 0 0.25 inches in diameter. This shape here also allows your square piece to fit in your square hole. Now, you can use this same technique on your outer curves. And there you go. This is a modification to this path that allows a rectangular piece to fit into this slot. Now, if I told you you had to do that to all of these corners, it would take all day. Which is why I've written a tool to help with this. Let's undo all these changes. There are two tools in my Rhino Tools repository that will help with this. The first is called Inner Hole. You enter the cutter diameter, 0 0.25 inches. You select the object. Now, this is creating the wrong circles. That means you have to flip this shape. Inner Hole, cutter diameter, 0 0.25. Select this object, click in the corners, hit enter, and it automatically does that for you. There's an equivalent one called outer hole. This is for outer profiles. Cutter diameter of 0 0.25. Select this object. Click on all of these. This is still tedious though, and I don't really want to click on all of these corners. But I'll do it. Here we go. Three, two, one, enter. There we go. Now we have a shape that can be properly cut out on the router table. Now, there are reasons why you want to use why you might want to use the first style of dog boning, especially if somebody else is going to be applying all the bondo. But in my case, I like this shape. Now, there's an easier way. We're going to undo this again. Here's our we're going to select our geometry. We're going to extrude it. Let's extrude it three millimeters. There we go. Delete the original geometry. Select curves, get rid of those. Let's look at this in perspective mode. I'm gonna run the dog bone script on this new object, dog bone. Select the dog bone face. You wanna sub-select the surface. Enter the cutter diameter. If you select corners, it will only dog bone those corners. But if you merely press enter, it will automatically figure out the difference between inner and outer corners, and it will dog bone the entire shape properly. This is useful if you want to dog bone a 
part that is still part of another assembly. Now, oftentimes you'll want to do this and you'll still want to remember where those corners were. So this script leaves you a little point object where there used to be a right angle. So there you have it, dog bone script available in my Rhino tools.